Hello guys and welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Just give me a minute and I will show you the most simple, the easiest way to do a flying script inside Roblox that you ever gonna see. First I'm gonna do a demo to show you how it looks like. I'm gonna use Pebble Heaven here. Let's go into the game and take a look. Here we are inside Pebble Heaven and if I press and hold the Q key down I'm gonna sprint but with the same button, if I keep hitting the Q key, I'm going to fly up into the air. You can see I'm way up high above the platform now. I'm even on top of the scoreboard here. All right, so now let's go to studio and we're going to see how to do a flying button inside Roblox. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. Now to do a flying button, I'm going to go to my starter player, starter character scripts. I'm going to insert a local script. Inside your local script, just insert the following lines. These are just the standard code for listening for a button press. We're listening for the Q button, the Q key on the keyboard when the Q key is pressed. If you like more information, you can refer to our prior tutorial on how to listen for a keyboard key press or a mouse button click. Basically here we're just declaring our user input service. We're getting the player, the character, the humanoid of the character. We're listening for the input begin event of the user input service. When the player presses a key on the keyboard, it's going to trigger this function. We're going to check to see if the player is currently chatting. If the player is not currently chatting, we're going to check to see if the Q key is pressed. If the Q key is pressed, we're going to change the state of the humanoid of the character to make the character jump. Now when you make the character jump, it's going to push the character up into the air a little bit. So if you keep repeatedly hitting the Q key, it's going to make the character fly up into the air. Let's play and take a look. Now I'm going to run. If I hit the Q key one time, I'm going to jump one time. But if I keep hitting the Q key repeatedly, I'm going to fly up into the air. And that's how you make a flying button. Now in one of our prior tutorials, a viewer asked if we needed this line right here to check for the game process. In my video, I did not check for the game process. So let's see what happened if we take this out and play and take a look. Basically, everything is gonna work normal. I can run, I can fly up into the air, right? But now if I open up the chat and I run, and I put in, uh, let me see, I put in the Q key into the chat, you see I'm flying up into the air when I'm chatting. But that that's really up to you because uh, normally you would not be chatting with a bunch of cues inside your chat. So maybe you do want to make the character fly up into the air while you're chatting. But it doesn't really matter. If you um, if you don't have that line, it's gonna make the character fly up into the air while you're chatting. And if you put this line in, and let's play and take a look. So now if I'm running and I'm chatting, I can put Q all I want. It's not gonna affect the the player. It's not the the player is not gonna jump into the air. But if I go back here while I'm not chatting, now I can fly up into the air with the Q key. All right, guys. That's how you make a fly button in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. We will see you again soon in our next tutorial. Take care everyone. I missed the platform. Mm -hmm.